Agora TV. The world is thinking. Let's get to the question of sex. Okay. Uh, there's a great publication that you refer to in your in your book, and I looked it up on the internet. It's NASA publication 14307-1792, and the title is Approaches to Continued Marital Relations in the Zero-G Orbital Environment. <laughs> it's the greatest hoax on the internet. It was until you debunked it. Um, <laughs> w w that was during an actual shuttle mission, right? Shuttle 41? Well, they, they just chose a random number, which turned out to have been an all-male <laughs> shuttle mission. Uh, so clearly this, the positions and the things they were describing were, were uh, uh, in, it would be anatomically impossible. <laughs> uh, but yes, that was a hoax. They, 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 this report claimed that NASA had spent taxpayer dollars looking into the best positions in zero gravity on a shuttle <laughs> mission, which mm -hmm. is absurd. How long did people actually believe this report was, was legitimate? Was there actually a window during which people oh, thought this was true? It's people still, it still mm -hmm. turns up in, in, in popular books about space. Mm -hmm. There's a, a book that came out when I was working on Packing for Mars. Another book came out, I forget the name of it, but the guy had reported this as though it were an actual mission, which mm -hmm. is pretty lazy journalism. And I don't know how much we can actually talk about this uh, on the air, but the whole idea of self-stim, as NASA calls it, <laughs> be, being yeah. the accepted yeah. alternative to actual yeah. sex in, in space. Again, I turn yeah. to the cosmonauts. <laughs> 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 um, it's just so much easier. Uh, I said... Well, some of those Mir flights were how long? I mean... Oh, yeah, six months and, and more. Valery, Poly Valery Polyakov, I think, oh, he was up there more than a year. He holds the record. Uh, yeah, and... Yeah, he, uh, Alexander Levakin, the cosmonaut that I asked about this, he said, he said, that's, yep, my friends, they're always asking me, Alexander, how are you making sex in space? I say, of course, by hand. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he was just, he said, he said, and of course, sometimes it happens in your sleep. It's natural. It's just like, it's not a big deal. Oh, you got I love those Russians. Oh, yeah, you got to love them. So soulful.